Sagittarius, how are you? Good morning, or well, it's good morning where I am doing this now. So um, welcome to your March 2016 love and general readings. I don't really have a lot to say, so I'm going to go ahead and just get right into it, starting with your love reading for March 2016. Here we go. Well, it's interesting. I'm not seeing a lot of like love elements. Again, more just like you and your energy and, and um, maybe they'll come out when I pull extra cards. But I'm seeing you going through some, again, disconnection. And I say again because I, I feel like I'm always saying the same words over and over. But uh, Four of Cups is like a, a level of disengagement, a level of disinterest. And, and something isn't necessarily, or, or nothing's really grabbing your attention in terms of perhaps matters of the heart. Perhaps um, in your dating scene, it seems like you've been very social, you've been going out, having a good time, but also very focused on your work. As much as I want this to be a love rating, I'm seeing some work elements here, so I'm gonna bring it in. Um, but either way, I do see you having the fun and going out and, and celebrating your accomplishments and, and the things that you've done thus far. And, and yet, while doing that, still remaining unattached. Okay, now if you are in a relationship, obviously that doesn't necessarily apply to you. However, it might indicate some level of you feeling like you need some freedom or feeling like you need some control over some aspect in your life. Um, five of Wands, I never like it when this card comes up. It's not a bad card. It's just, it's like the Five of Wands and Five of Pentacles. I really just don't, um, I don't like the way they speak so well. And the Five of Wands is some level of competition, right? That's like the traditional meaning of the card, competition. And and honestly, I see it as being like pettiness, petty competition, things that don't really matter. Maybe as you've been going out, you've been experiencing, you know, if you're single, as you've been going out, you've experienced people, you've experienced dates as being just totally not on par with what it is you're looking for, yet you're still playing, you're still in the spirit of the game. And if you are in a relationship, perhaps there is some pettiness, some arguments, maybe a little bit of fighting going on, some disagreements. Um, and then that in turn too can also cause you to sort of pull back, retract a little bit and, uh, and not allow yourself to, to fully or truly engage in the relationship or in the situation. Now you are being blessed with strength, which is interesting. Um, strength, honestly, I'm seeing more tied towards some focus toward your work um, or perhaps a conversation that takes place between you and someone, between you and a significant other. Um, you know, sticking to it, continuing, 
persevering, pushing through, powering through. Um, if this is your partner, if you are in a relationship and you are experiencing maybe a little bit of like, <laughs> like disagreements, um, I don't see it lasting so long. Honestly, I kind of see this retreat as sort of progressing a little bit more and getting a little bit deeper and you going through and doing some real soul searching and, uh, and you perhaps taking your time and, and feeling like, um, like this is a much needed break, a much needed pause in your life. But what's interesting is you have the Ace of Swords, which is kind of an opposite type of energy, right? This is something new coming in, something new, something exciting. Again, I am seeing a lot of work type energies, even though this is supposed to be a love reading, but I'm wondering if your focus isn't going to be more on your work, more on your the financial aspect of your life. This card I often see as, you know, equating to the Queen of Pentacles, oftentimes, and they're so similar, and, and they're they're the energy is that of focus, that of achievement, that of you know this one more about being open and, and accepting and warm and giving, and um, perhaps that is your nature at this point in time. You know you have you're going out, you're having a good time, but maybe there is someone else that's causing a stir in your life, a partner, or dating, someone you're dating, and, and it's like, why? You know, why are you causing this? You know, I'm just doing my thing, I'm focusing, I'm accomplishing things. So I do see you maybe cutting off on some level you know, if you're if you're seriously if you're dating not anyone serious, I see you maybe even stop dating for a little while. You might keep lines of communication open, but ultimately you'll just maybe just retreat and focus on yourself for a while and think, okay, well I'm kind of having going through a rough patch in terms of potential partners. Maybe this isn't really the right way I want to go. Let me just focus on me. Let me do me, and then I'll figure it out later. You know. If you're in a relationship, unfortunately you can't really do that, but you can maybe switch the focus more towards yourself and more towards the things that you, you have independent control over, if anything. And through that process, yes, Ace of Wands coming in, yes, the Hanged Man, you starting to see things different, but also indicating a delay. When you have the Hanged Man and the Hermit together, I do see it as, as maybe even more prolonged process, something a little bit more drawn out. And that process of reestablishing your life purpose, reestablishing, I, I don't remember for sure if you had this last month, maybe you did, but it usually takes a while. So if this is a recurring theme, it, it might come back um, in the months to come as well. It's not something that usually happens overnight, but, but your view of the world is changing. You know, if you're dating, your view of your dating scene is changing. You know, if it was, was fun and just going out and meeting new people for a while, maybe you're starting to think, okay, well, as great as that was and as many amazing people as I met during that process, I feel like maybe I need something more substantial. If you're in a relationship, maybe you're you're thinking about moving into a, a different phase or a different area. Maybe there are significant decisions that need to take place regarding your work, regarding you know a tra traveling or moving from one location to another. You know, whatever that might be. Okay, so what I'm doing this month is pulling three cards. This is a very standard um, spread. It's called the Spirit Guide Spread. And it allows the reader to just flow with the energy, to flow with the messages, and not get locked in with the meaning of the positions. So um, I am going to pull three cards instead of just one, just because I've kind of been feeling like the energy is, it stops short sometimes. So here we go.
Okay, again, for Four of Swords this time, perhaps you even are going through a process of visualization and reliving things that happened in the past. You know, maybe reliving things that happened um, in a past relationship or, or something. I think you have a very active mind this month, but but not so um, so deep and so, it's just very active. It's thinking a lot. Sagittarius, you think. That's that's your MO, right? So, so certainly no exception this month at all. And you might be, be trying to strategize for the future, trying to strategize your next steps, your, your next phase. But again, a lot of the focus on you. And um, let me see this Knight of Pentacles. Honestly, I just see it more as like a something coming in in terms of work, as unromantic as this reading has been. Um, I really just see a lot of focus there, and you know, you can think maybe there's a potential partner here for you, but um, just with a lot of the retraction and, and a lot of pulling in and, and focusing on yourself. No doubt there will be some opportunity coming in for you, maybe an opportunity for travel, um, doing business overseas, even um, some place maybe you've never even been before. But um, if you do look at it from a romantic standpoint, it could indicate someone new coming in as well. Um, maybe an earth sign. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, uh, but again, I do see you still very independent, still very on your own, standing your ground and, and forging ahead and taking advantage of the opportunities that are coming in. I see you recognizing the value that they bring and, and taking full advantage of those. Let's see, let's go ahead and move on into your general reading. Again, the exact same spot, so that's a theme for you for sure. So what is it, Sagittarius, that is causing you to feel like you're coming up short or to feel like you don't want to, to move on, to move into a new, a new part of your life? Um, uh, the Empress. Okay, I don't know why, but I'm actually seeing this as another energy, as someone else, and I'm seeing you as the Knight of Cups, okay? I'm seeing you down here. I think there's going to be some truth that comes in, some bit of information to allow you to have a fuller understanding of a situation, to enable you to embrace clarity. This Ace of Swords has been a recurring theme, and I, I just actually 
I didn't say this in any of my other videos, but I, I think there, there's like a new moon coming this this month. Um, or maybe that's happening now. I, I'm not sure. I, I don't follow astrology so much. But there is a new moon happening, and <laughs> this can really mean like a conversation that you have with someone where they tell you something or you tell them something. It can indicate, you know, something happening where you are able to put all the pieces of the puzzle together, right? You, you find an understanding of some sort. And uh, that can really change the course of the way that things go, the way that things happen, right? I think this truth is going to come in regards to this person. Now, this isn't intentionally a love reading, but this can be your significant other or someone special that you're dating. It can also be um, a mother or a friend or someone perhaps with children, most likely a woman, um, or not most likely a woman, I'm sorry. It can, can be either a woman or a man because your um, the energies here are just either or because it's a general reading I'm sorry um, but yet you still remain disconnected you still remain disengaged you still remain dissatisfied if you're dating and this might represent someone maybe somewhat special that you're dating what is it about this person that leaves you feeling like it's not enough or, or the life that she represents is not enough. It's not exactly what you had in mind. If you are in a relationship, this could be um, again, the news or the truth that comes into play it might not be always the best news and it might change the course of, of where you're going. And also, too, in terms of work, you know, I, I do see this truth being connected with the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles can indicate either significant wealth or luxury or family. Maybe you are seeking more wealth. Maybe you're working for more money and, and you've been working hard. But somehow, you're still not quite where you want to be. You're still not quite where you want to be, and um, and things just aren't quite ready, or you don't feel ready for a change in your life. Ultimately, you are being blessed with the sun, and the sun, you know, illuminates everything. It puts a positive, optimistic spin on the entire reading, and it gives you hope on some level. And I think this High Priestess as well is also a blessing. The Sun and the High Priestess in opposite corners, meaning you have a way about you. You have something um, deep inside you, your gut, your heart, a voice telling you. And maybe there is a truth there. Now that truth, if, if this is someone that you're just dating and it's not quite someone that you're truly happy about, it might mean that you leave. It might mean that you move on in, in search of something else. If this is someone, you know, a family member, then it can also be you just going out and seeking more and seeking additional things and going and, and continuing to work hard. You know, this night leaving I see very similar to that Three of Wands and that Knight of Pentacles that came up in that last reading. You know, they were both headed in this direction. They were moving away from the reading. So you going out and, and searching and adventuring and, and trying to... Maybe you're trying to find some sort of meaning to everything. You know, you're a thinker. You think a lot. But also, you don't take life so seriously. You know, you guys, um, Sagittarians, you get high on life, right? Life experiences and, and good times, and people love being around you, and you love being around others. And sometimes you um, you might feel like that's not quite enough. Um, Temperance. This is your card in the 
tarot deck, your card, Sagittarius, uh, balance between the head and the heart. And maybe it is admitting something to yourself, admitting some truth about someone, about some situation, about some work path that you're taking, um, admitting to yourself and acknowledging the fact that you may have known the truth the whole time already. But it's important for you that if you do come to this truth, if you do come to this clarity about someone or about something, that you express that as well, just as a word of advice, a word of, because only then will you find the balance as well. So let's go ahead and So, there certainly is someone, um, I'm going to be honest with you, I see, oddly enough, I see this energy as the same energy, okay? You here, Queen of Wands, um, I see that. Again, this person, um, same, came, uh, Penta, uh, Knight of Pentacles in that last reading. So interesting that we pulled the same suit and another face card right here. Definitely a person, okay? Maybe someone that you know already. Um, but why defensive? Why, you know, if this isn't someone that you want in your life, if this isn't someone that you feel happy with, you know, if this is your your husband or wife, maybe um, there really needs to come a point of understanding, right? There really needs to, to be a conversation about what it is that's causing you to retreat, right? Because this can be detrimental for a relationship. When someone retreats, when someone pulls in, and I know that this is supposed to be a general reading, but I do see love elements, and I am going to tie it into the career side as well, so give me just a moment. Um, but when you retreat the way you do, hermit, hanged man, um, four of cups especially, that can be detrimental to a relationship, and this dissatisfaction can apply to them as well, okay? But I, I do see you being quite defensive, and here you are, Queen of Wands. I see you um, I just see you, <laughs> to be honest with you. I, I just see a representation of you and um, you being, you know, somewhat in line with the swords and with the empress and, you know, you finding that need for balance. And I, I actually kind of like that this is touching the sun here because there's the sunflower there and the sunflowers and representing growth and, you know, I actually don't know the symbolism of sunflowers, to be honest with you, but, um, and then you finding balance in regards to this person here but yet still remaining on guard. You know, if you're just dating and this is someone maybe a little bit special, but yet you're still not ready to commit, you're still not ready to, to move into something significant, I do see you fighting that off and, and preventing 
maybe preventing good things from coming into your life, maybe. But maybe not, maybe it's really not what you want, and in that case that's good. In terms of work or element, you know, in terms of career, because there are some career elements here, you working hard and perhaps you falling short of where you, you need or where you should be, I'm wondering if there's not some partner involved, some, you know, boss or someone in your life, someone in your work situation that um, perhaps you are connected to, you are tied to, and yet you find yourself maybe disagreeing with their path. The Three of Wands came up in this spot last time. The Three of Wands can be, you know, you going out and seeking something on your own. Maybe that's a truth that you need to admit or that maybe you aren't happy in your situation and that you need to change because ultimately you have control over your situation, right? You have control over it and you have the ability to change your situation. So maybe that is something that happens to some of you as well, okay? So a little bit all over the board here. I tried to not tie it into love so much, but it's hard sometimes when, um, you know, you get certain messages and, and it just kind of flows that way. So let's go ahead and um, wrap this up. I thank you for visiting and, and watching and um, I am grateful to have you here and I will see you next month. Thank you.